The LG G8 X ThinQ is already a decent phone, but what makes it a great phone is the dual display. What is going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a custom gamepad using the LG G8 X ThinQ. Now this is what sets the G8 X apart from the other original G8. This dual screen, it's a dual screen case. Yeah, by itself, it's nothing. But once you put the device in, it all changes. Yes, this video is long overdue, so my apologies. But what I wanna show you in this video is how to create a custom gamepad using the LG G8X. So you actually have to go into game mode and everything to do that, which I will show you. But here's just a quick clip of the normal gameplay that most of you usually do on your mobile device. And it's not bad, but the thing is, your thumbs and everything take up a majority of the screen. So, you know, you're pretty much covering things or hitting the wrong buttons. And it's just, you know, it could be better. And it is better when you're using the LG G8X Then Q, the longest name in the world. But yeah, so this is some of my gameplay using the G8X. I actually have the other screen flipped, so it's behind. And, um, you know, I don't have any issues playing this way, but knowing that I have a dual screen, I'm gonna put that dual screen to use. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and select that game launcher button. Then you go ahead and do the LG gamepad. And as you see, it already brought up the Call of Duty gamepad because I'm actually in Call of Duty. Um, and what you wanna do, or what I've done, is I'm actually in the game while I'm creating the gamepad because if I don't, then I'm not really sure where all the on-screen buttons are. So this is how I do it. And I mean, most likely, yeah, you're gonna probably lose doing it, you know, cause you're multitasking while you're supposed to be blowing people's heads off. But so as you see, I just had the plus button and a bunch of buttons come up and then you get to pick exactly where on the gamepad you want them. So I have two thumb sticks and then, you know, you see, I'm not even touching the top screen and the gamepad is actually working. So you just keep adding the buttons as you see fit. And you see what I'm doing right here? I'm actually moving the plus to the button. So like right there, I want that button to be my my gun, my, my weapon. So when I hit check, I'm gonna go ahead and see if it works. And you see, I'm shooting my gun. And so you're just going to keep adding these buttons as you go along. But that's why I was saying, like, you kind of have to be on this screen to know exactly the placement of the buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and move this next one if I can grab it. So I want to put this also for my navigation on my directional, you know what I'm saying? So I can go left, right, up, down. So that is where I want it to be. Just kind of get it exactly where you want. And then when you're good with that, you hit the check button and it's gonna save that placement for you. And as you see, that's working for me. And you're just gonna keep doing this for every button that you add. You're gonna find a place on the top screen to place it. And then once you do it, you'll hit the check mark. The system will save that placement for you. And then you can go ahead and test it out. And that's kind of what I'm doing with each button that I add. And if you see, like, uh, if you feel like a little hiccup, then go back into the edit button and fix it, move it where it needs to be. And you do have the capability to um, resize these buttons when you put them, put them on. So that's kind of why I made the thumbsticks kind of big. And you can just do so much with it. I think it's pretty cool. And it also helps, like I said, with your thumbs not being in the way of the actual gameplay. So that I find is so awesome that you can do this. So I'll keep adding the buttons and mapping them out as I need them. What I can say is uh, it takes a little bit getting used to once you start using the custom gamepad. Um, Cause I feel like you have to actually map it pretty much exactly on the icon that's on the top screen and the the probably the um the most kind of fluky thing is the directional pad so that's probably something that i'm still going to continue to work on as you see like i'm moving forward i'm running and uh, just sometimes with the 
the up and down, like, you know, and you want to aim or shoot someone, you know, that's just a little off sometimes, but it's pretty easy to create your own custom game pad. And so you can make one with each game that you have in that game launcher that you saw. And pretty much you don't have to have your hands on the screen. So you have more screen real estate to play your game. Well, I hope that helps anyone who kind of wanted to know how the heck this thing works. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later. <laughs>